hello friends in my this video i am going to discuss about the code word generation in the cdma or code division multiple access uh, scheme okay so basically in this case what happens that each user are assigned with certain code word like this is one well known example we already studied in digital communication system course here uh, there is d1 d2 d3 d4 uh, different data bits are there and they are multiplied with c c1 c2 c3 c4 this c1 c2 c3 c4 are basically code word which is assigned to uh, each users okay Th those are called basically chips here it is written cdma is based on coding theory each station is assigned a code which is a sequence of number called chips okay the uh, suppose for four users that is 1111 first one, first code uh, or first chip uh, sequence then plus one minus one plus one minus one then plus one plus one minus one minus one then plus one minus one minus one plus one the uh, the property of the each code word uh, this code word sequence is all of them are basically orthogonal to each other you multiply these two you will get a, a dot product result as zero okay so that's what basically the uh, chip sequence is now in my this video i am going to show you the matlab code to generate a chip sequence for any number of users and obviously that will the number of users should be a power of two okay obviously here otherwise it will not work so basically if you see that here sequence see for sequence generation one method is there that is a walsh method walsh table for formulation is there okay so two dimensional table how it is working so uh, here two basic rules are there like here see w1 is always plus one and next will be w2 w2 will be plus one plus one plus one minus one and w4 will be what so for one user we can assign this particular chip sequence for two is, uh, users we can assign this particular one row for one user and second row for another user that is plus one plus one for one user for another user plus one minus one now what for four user you have to follow this table that is w of 2n is equal to w of n w of n w of n then w bar of n so what you do for four user uh, so w of 2n here uh, 2n equal to 4 so n equal to 2 so basically here in this case in all of this uh, uh, in these places you have to put, put w of 2 see here uh, see w of 2 and here w of 4 is equal to see w of n so basically w of 2 we are putting in this particular part and then here also w of n similarly here we are putting the w of n plus one plus one plus one minus one exactly same sequence and then in this particular part plus one plus one plus one minus one again w of two and then in this particular part what we are doing reversing the uh, signs okay so minus one minus one minus one plus one so this become w of four like that it will go on for w of a w of uh, 16 like that so the matlab code is very simple TLC clear all close all obviously we have to write if you want you can write warning of also then s equal to input enter the number of code words you want okay then if s equal to equal to 1 our output is going to be simply z of 1 else if s equal to equal to 2 then our output is going to be simply uh, 1 1 1 minus 1 row wise I am telling for 2 cross 2 matrix otherwise what we have to do we have to follow that procedure see w of 2 was 1 1 1 minus 1 right then we are defining one empty matrix z and we have to keep on iterating that is how much time we have to iterate that is basically uh, suppose we want four uh, users then we need to uh, see you just understand with this example suppose w of four we want then we only need to put one time w of two in each places of this particular general matrix right so basically for that first we have to calculate log base 2 that is what is the power of 2 uh, that is the number of required code words so s equal to log 2 by uh, log s by log 2 that that is basically will, it will compute that power of 2 s is the what power of 2 and then what we are doing then for i equal to 1 colon s minus 1 j equal to x x x minus 1 that same matrix which i shown earlier then again for next iteration x becomes z in this for loop in this else condition okay so it will work and it will generate the number of code word according to our requirement so suppose let me show you enter the number of code words you want suppose i want um, 
for four users okay so you write z and enter see for first user we can assign this particular code word one 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 minus one for second user one minus one one minus one for third user one one minus one minus one for fourth user one minus one minus one one okay you can cross verify also suppose let me take randomly z of one comma that is first row if i take and a dot star uh, second row or third row let me take just i am taking randomly you can check with all other cases see answer you are getting this one now if you sum them up one plus one mi plus minus one plus minus one that will become zero or if you uh, simply write sum of a sum of n variable then also you are going to get zero okay so the code words are orthogonal basically it i mean to say then for next case suppose i want for eight users okay simply write eight and enter z so first user you can assign this code word, one 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 then for second user this code word, word you can assign one minus one one minus one one minus one one minus one for third user one one minus one minus one 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 minus one minus one like that you can assign each row can be assigned to uh, a, as particular code for any particular user suppose let me show you again one example Supp suppose let me take fifth row and uh, suppose let me take third row okay and let me directly uh, so let write sum so basically see again answer you are getting a zero so that means fifth and third all are orthogonal like that you can check for all other rows combinations for all the cases you will get orthogonal uh, code words only okay this is all for my this video thank you for watching